Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. We enjoyed rich history, views of three states in one location, great food, and more. Stay tuned as our family explores Harper's Ferry. I'm Anthony. And I'm Yelitsa. And together we are ANY Travels. Our day began at Harper's Ferry National Park. Here, we were able to park our car and find information about the town of Harpers Ferry and its park trails. We chose to take the Lower Town Trail since we had our dog Luna with us. But there was a free shuttle service that would take you directly to the town. On our walk, we were able to see some great views of the Shenandoah River and its surroundings. Walking down the street, we discover very interesting buildings. Inside some of the buildings were very cool old things. It felt like we were walking back in the 1800s. Free to enter and explore, these little shops gave the history of Harper's Ferry. There was plenty to see and learn. If you're enjoying this video, hit the like button and subscribe for future videos. If you ever visit Harper's Ferry, True Treats is a must see. It is the nation's only historical candy store. No matter your age, Chew Treats will definitely have candy from your childhood. They even had treats that were popular in biblical times.
Yep. I, too, was a kid in a candy store. There were plenty of shops to visit. But with all the walking we had done to this point, we all were ready for lunch. We ate lunch at Old Fireman's Barbecue and I'm glad we did. The food was great and their setup was cool too. After lunch, we found ourselves on the spot called The Point. From here, it is possible to see three states at one time, West Virginia, Virginia, and Maryland. Throughout Harpers Ferry, there are a lot of sight reads. These plaques give a small insight to important events that happen not only in Harpers Ferry, but in our country. Day two of exploring Harpers Ferry, West Virginia was again so much fun. This time, some of our family members surprised us and drove three hours to come join us. We planned a hike, but first, coffee from a small coffee shop called The Coffee Mill. We crossed into Maryland to hike the Maryland Heights Trail. This trail is a 4.6 mile out and back trail. All Trails is an app that we use when hiking trails. It has a rating for the Maryland Heights Trail of moderate. The hike is a little challenging, but definitely worth it. From this overlook, the whole town of Harpers Ferry can be seen. The view here is beautiful, but nothing compares to actually being there. to climber rock climbing we head back to harper's ferry to eat lunch at isabella's pizza and subs fun fact the pepperoni roll is the official state food of west virginia After lunch, we explore more of the town. We walk past Magpie Pottery. We can see a gentleman hard at work creating a piece of art. Here 
is St. Peter's Church. You don't see much of this type of construction anymore. This church was built by true craftsmen and tradesmen. This building displayed some of the building techniques used during the time of its original construction. As a tradesman myself, I really enjoyed this display. As we end our trip, we had enjoyed some ice cream by the river. We loved Harper's Ferry and are actually planning a return trip for the Christmas holiday. Till next time. And thank you for watching. A&Y Travels.